Hey guys, how are we doing? Um, Fitzy show number one. Just gonna wait a little while to, to let it build up a little bit, get a few people on. Um, there's no backdrop of the Abbey today, I'm afraid. Um, I'm out and about doing different things. And uh, so there's also no backdrop of the bells in the background as well, for those of you that were on yesterday. And you heard the bells going on. So just gonna let it build up a little bit just for 10, 20 seconds or so, maybe 30 seconds. Let's wait for people to come on. Beautiful day here in the UK. How is everyone else? How is it where you are? Okay, just gonna crack on with it. So, who am I? What's my story? You know, and why the, why the hell would you listen to me? Who is this guy and why, why is he doing a show? And, uh, why does he think he should do a show and why does he think people would listen to him? So I've had a bit of a journey, um, so I'm going to just sort of tell you about my story today very briefly, a couple of minutes, won't take up too much of your time. So this is for people who are in the wrong place at the wrong time, as I was. Um, the last few years, um, you know, are you in a job that you hate? Are you with people that you are not like-minded people? Are you a bit lost, broken, frustrated, a bit pissed off with life, anything worse than that? So the place I was in, um, worked in corporate, pretty successful, you know, decent salary, decent car. But as time went on, it became golden handcuffs, you know, and I found myself giving away my identity, my life, almost, um, for, for the paycheck, you know, for money, for success, whatever that looks like and a fancy car. Um, but over time, I got to the point where I probably reached the, reached the peak of my career at that point, and um, I was dying inside. Yeah, I don't know who else resonates with that out there, that, you know, literally my identity was pretty much gone. Didn't know who the hell I was anymore. This is sort of two years ago. In a job that I hated, um, not surrounded by like-minded people. Exactly as I said before, lost, broken, pissed off, frustrated didn't know a way out. I was on that hamster wheel, just going round and round and round. And basically by the end of it, um, I got in a really bad place, got in a really bad way. Um, actually became suicidal two, two and a half years ago. Um, Cause I was just so lost, broken, didn't know a way out. Um, didn't know who to speak to. Um, I'm not gonna give you the, the big long winded, long winded version. Hi Ken, how are you man? Good for you to catch on. Um, so, so yeah, what did I do? Well, I, um, I was driving my car fast one morning um, and I absolutely wanted to, wanted to finish this thing. You know, I wanted to move on to something else, another world. So I didn't have any answers. Um, didn't know where the hell to turn, what to do. Um, thankfully I failed. Um, people that know me know that I'm quite determined, usually. Um, but thankfully I failed at that. I failed at killing myself, so. What then happened? Well, I just fucking got determined, got the fire in my belly. Thankfully, I had enough fire left to turn everything around. Um, Vinod, how are you? Michelle, how are you? James, James Reeves, how you doing? Had enough fire in my belly still to turn things around, you know? And, uh, and basically, that's what I did over the last two, two and a half years. Went on a long journey of um, self-discovery, went deep inside to really discover who the hell I am and what I'm here for, yeah? Um, so I immersed myself on a year of self-development courses, took on every course that I could find to find who the hell I am and what my purpose is. And um, a lot of pain in that journey, those of you who are on a similar journey, to face into the truth and to feel the real of who the hell we are. We've got to face some demons in there. We've got to look in the mirror, look ourselves straight in the mirror, look ourselves in the eyes, you know, and have them inner conversations with the inner voice um, to turn everything around and uh, so what did I do? In essence I gave up alcohol, that was probably the biggest uh, biggest change because um, alcohol was killing me as well, I was drinking two bottles of wine most nights as a coping mechanism Yeah, um, because I was in this spiral this hamster wheel, this life I didn't want to be in living this per as a person, identity that I didn't, wasn't me um, yeah, so I gave up alcohol. Um, I also sorted out my diet, 
you know, rather than eating shit 24-7, sorted that out. Um, and also left corporate world, you know. Um, and that's the key thing of me jumping on here is uh, telling people that there is a way. You know, I lost, uh, I lost nearly 100 pounds. Was it 38 kilos? Because um, people that know me before, I was that big fat guy, that 20, 20 stone guy, the guy that could barely move properly. So lost about six stone in the period. Um, last couple, two, two and a half years. And just step by step, day by day, just change things bit by bit by bit. And this is the sort of key thing of my message. There is another way. There is another direction you can, you can move in. Um, you can make changes, you know, if you're determined enough. And if, if you won't settle, yeah, if you won't accept those fucking standards, that bullshit story that you're telling yourself, yeah. You know, that bullshit when you look in the mirror, it's okay, man, it's all right. We're good. We're not good, are we, though? You know, a lot of the time we're not good. So it's about being honest and truthful to yourself and making them changes. Paul Raj, how are you? Nico Pretorius from South Africa, how you doing? Great to have you on. So, yeah, um, two and a half years down the line, what's my purpose now? My purpose now is to help people to be the coach that I didn't have, in essence. You know, that, that's my path, that's my mission. And it's so strong and so powerful. And this isn't a sales pitch, it really isn't. It's more about me getting out there and impacting as many people as I possibly can and showing people there is another way, yeah? If you just change direction, get the help you need, speak to the people you need to, and just step by step, step by step, 1% every day in the right direction and keep moving forward. And don't accept, don't accept lower standards of yourself, yeah? Um, you know, because at the end of the day as well, how much time do we have? You know, I'm a slightly older guy, I'm 48, looking in the mirror and I'm saying, you know what, what have I got left? 10, 20 years, 30 max? At least let me live that, being myself 24-7, you know? And that's the, uh, that's the essence of my message really, is all about identity. Who do you truly want to be when you look in that mirror? Um, and are you happy being the person you are now? If you are, great. If you're not, time to change time to change yeah make that move um and just keep stepping in the right direction um i'm gonna leave it there guys because this is a bit of a long long one but um those of you interested in my story and you know interested in the tools tips and hacks that i've, I've found on my journey tune in you know it's free i'll be doing it at eight o'clock every morning monday wednesday friday um have a bit of fun and they won't be as long as this one this was more about me getting it out there who the hell i am and why would you listen to me so you know let's see there, there will be certain people that not interested it's not their not their journey not their path there's others who might tune in so jonas how are you okay guys gonna leave it there hope you have a great day hope it inspires you a little bit gives you a bit of energy um gonna leave you the final my favorite two words what if what if you could change a different direction? What if there is another way? And what if you can be successful in that diff di different path? Yeah? All right. Take care, guys. See you later.